Hello folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is around 10.30 here in Dhaka. I'm doing a couple of videos for you. Hopefully you're not going to lose power. Last few days it has been raining cats and dogs and it was affecting our electricity power supply. Yeah, in Bangladesh we do suffer from that. Yesterday I think about four to five times. Each time half an hour to one hour. And you know, it's very difficult, you know, to work. So I usually enjoy the rainy days, but you know, this kind of uh, like inconvenience really, really is horrible. Little bit of rain on the you know transformer boom goes out so anyway let me try to do quickly some review because i heard some noise we may lose power don't know so as i told you i have quite a few samples that i got like over the last two months or so from a lot of purchase uh, from this brand called sandara and then few other shops also they have given me a lot of samples and then i have plenty more that i reviewed i have at the back and from some other <coughs> sellers also so these samples are really good for testing a perfume one thing second thing is uh, to create a content but the downside is i cannot show you a full presentation and i do apologize in the beginning someone already said it's okay absolutely fine to do uh, sample reviews because it's not like a joke to buy like this amouage fragrance that i'm about to review today this lines are very expensive so this is called amouage opus uh, 12 rose incense this is the official sample of 2ml these are very nice and i think the main bottles they look like this this is a new line so I do have a full bottle of this one, which I think is a masterpiece called Royal Tobacco. There is also <clears throat> a few more, a couple more that I will review soon. I think reviewed two before this. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time. I'm not most organized. So I did review uh, Royal Tobacco is a sample. And I think I did uh, Reckless Leather last time. And then I have after this one more from the line. The last one I think would be Silver Oud. So these are part of their more upper class line and Amouage's more expensive line. And these used to be maybe in the library collection. I'm, could, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but they re-released in these new bottles, which look nice, okay? So I already showed you, <coughs> sorry, uh, this kind of bottle you're gonna get with a beautiful, nice box. Price is gonna be, I think I've seen in Bangladesh, 400 something dollars, so it's not cheap. At least 350, even you have to spend. On the testers, I think you can find these, if I'm not mistaken, around 200 dollars in Bangladesh but as the sellers depending on the sellers so this thing i have pre-sprayed on the piece of paper i cannot find my test strips i don't know where they are and this is the dry down uh, let me do a quick respray just to bring back the opening and i will talk about this fragrance i have fragrantic open and i'll tell you the notes breakdown but this one comes with the cap the sample okay really nice size sample 2ml is very nice to uh, you know explore usually they also have uh, testers like this kind of fragrance they also have a, like a whole box the what do you call these things um you know to discovery set okay so you can buy those uh, for the price these are uh, i got these for free because i purchased perfumes but if you buy i think it's a good investment because instead of buying the full bottle with the full risk you know definitely this line you could use that so this thing when i spray let me tell you the notes olibanum lme ink uh, damask rose olibanum uh, mar sandalwood cedar and vanilla so this thing definitely does not offer anything for the faint-hearted one thing second thing it does not offer anything for people who are beginners you know in the game this fragrance i'll just keep straight to the point this is no joke this is a very serious fragrance it's definitely art artistic artsy fragrance and for people who have a niche nose very dismal this fragrance when i tried on my skin i had to literally wash it off because uh, some fragrances are loud but not your type this is one of those fragrances not my type this is definitely built for colder weathers let's say cold countries and stuff this is going to be really the best you know like i recently ordered one fragrance called uh, i think overture yeah overture overture from amouage that is also like a nice boozy tobacco but <clears throat> not again for faint-hearted but i want to get it because i have collected some of my favorite like interlude jubilation sunshine uh what else do i have the royal tobacco and then my favorite is i think this one is called boundless yeah and then i also have perhaps like i don't know oh beach heart man so i used to have plenty more i had about 15 m1 but i sold some of them off and i finished like uh, reflection man i did pretty much more i had epic lyric journey plenty more so m definitely you can tell first thing is it's an oman royal uh, uh family owned house it's very different they are doing their own thing you do not find any fragrance they are doing a clone the new ones they are doing uh like search purpose you know like these green bottles these are more of a summer based perfume but mostly amor used to do 
AV colder weather fragrance and the made in Oman versions were stronger than made in UK because in UK they have to go for certain uh, regulation which does not allow all the uh, you know ingredients to be used so people usually tend to love made in Oman so I don't know if these are made in Oman I think these are so performance is top notch uh, you do not have any issue with performance I think it's 10 out of 10 longevity projection no issue two sprays will be just great from this paper just a small spray this thing is filling up my room I left this paper I left the room to you know get something done and I came back the whole room is filled with this so I will tell you one thing this definitely starts up not for the uh, like how do I say amateurs this is definitely a professional men's or women's work whatever is your case that inky note the ink note is a very uncommon note I sometimes saw it in Ankara Noir I think they use that inky note and perhaps I don't know that I have seen in one of the fragrance they use that inky note maybe something from Nasamato or something I don't remember but ink is a very weird note I have seen maybe a niche house mm, I forgot the name it's a Canada based house so they do play with this ink the squid ink these are imaginary notes you cannot put ink in a perfume but when you smell it it does give you a feel that it's dark and the darkness of ink you know fountain pen ink it's not for everybody it's a very aquatic taste like petroleum uh, or something like you smell the soil after the rain these are smells people are not really used to but some people love like there's a fragrance you know i remember in uh, uh what's the fragrance it has a like a human sort of a fluid note um, <laughs> i can't remember the name at this point but you guys know what this is you know so sometimes it's kind of gross but this one has a very dusky and a very dark rose note which is not to be compared with any other rose the amouage did before i have tried lyric man very soapy candle like uh, aromatherapy sort of rose very soft uh, feminine type it was not my jam i sold off my bottle twice not once twice i bought two bottles and i sold them both so this is a very different work of art from amouage and definitely darker um, something like playing in the satanic zone okay uh, or or polar opposite is very church incense church going to church you know like the holy so you can view it either way you can be, view it like i'm going to church i'm gonna smell holy i'm gonna smell different they have this olibanum rose um you know like olibanum is mentioned twice and then the myrrh so definitely dark tone to the fragrance like a damp day it's a cloudy day it's maybe winter very foggy and uh, the roads are all muddy uh, it rained a while back so you smell that rain but there's no sign of the sun in this kind of weather this is going to be perfect you know to go with the mood but you cannot find this fragrance when you wear this maybe it smells like funeral man you know like i don't want to say upsetting things but it does smell like something tragic uh, so from that perspective it's a very uh, you can say niche style perfume but not for me it doesn't have any happiness in this but for those who have uh no oh man this is similar to something oh you know what let me bring you a fragrance which reminds me of this one hold on yeah sometimes you know it's, it's enjoyable this work sometimes suddenly you remember something i did not plan this but i just smelling this you know this one moschino uh toy boy or boy toy i think toy boy this is one of those fragrances very daring and i always call this like a niche style designer fragrance very different kinky it has pear rose something dark something spicy perhaps I don't want to say too early like this is inspired by amouage but definitely these are same vibes okay but this one that pear note definitely is oh yeah when i smell this side by side like uh, the moschino oh, with the nozzle and this one sometimes dangerous you know you just spray it there and it sprays on your face yeah always make sure yeah yeah this is a new bottle i haven't opened mm, okay fine it's not the same okay it's not the same but the way these are built the rose note is kind of similar this is a bit more playful easy going this is more uh, the amouage is more uh, daring so if you did enjoy the moschino you're going to enjoy this this is more darker brother of moschino without the fruity tones you can wear this also for perhaps a serious business meeting definitely smells rich when i smell this it does not smell cheap it has a smoky tone to it so kind of smoky inky uh, dark rose and very dark rose i cannot say this is built for uh, daily usage or easy summer definitely not so i would say most people when they smell this they will want to just be happy with this this and they even not may not finish it but maybe high likely you know like not high likely maybe 
also likely that people may fall in love with this because they have that nose for that okay so they may fall in love with this and buy a full bottle so amor lovers will definitely love this but if you're new in the game i would say get a sample these are sometimes people buy a niche perfume just to collect it later they just do not like it after testing and sell it off after five years when the nose grow mature they buy it again so in that case you'd be better off with the sample if you can buy this somewhere it's not going to cost you so much so definitely check it out not my most favorite from the line definitely number one is still the tobacco i love this this one is the right formula just love it Oof, love that love that so this thing i'll give this uh, for my liking performance is 10 so no issue with performance for the smell itself i'll give it a six out of ten not my favorite definitely give it a check and uh, we are just giving you my our two cents best part is your nose if it likes it or not you test it and you decide okay but this is a reference point only have a nice day thanks for watching let's do a list then we'll upload it take care